Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to do a walkthrough and a little review of Shootproof, which is an online gallery management software slash tool for photographers. This is the software that I use to deliver all my photos to my clients. Um, it's also the software that I use for my clients to place orders for their prints, their canvases, their albums. It's all kind of like rolled into one and it makes things really easy um, managing all my clients that way in terms of their photos and all their orders. Um, I do use a separate piece of software for my client, um, like my client management tool in terms of contracts and you know email sequences and things like that in terms of capturing leads and things like that. Um, Shootproof does have some features that help with client management in terms of the actual like administrative side, dealing with contracts and things like that. Um, I'm not going to go too far into that bit because I don't use that those tools or those features, um, but I really wanted to go through the features that I do love, that I use all the time, that I think most photographers would probably end up using. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Please bear with me if I seem like I'm like choking on my words a bit. My throat is really hurting and I'm having a hard time um, talking because it hurts so bad. Um, so this first screen that we are looking at right here, this is kind of like your general login screen, your dashboard screen. And there's a couple different things on here. So the notifications tab over here on the uh, left hand side um, shows when you have an, um, have an order um, and when those funds from that order are available. Um, it also tells you like if you've gotten an order and that or like that order hasn't been approved yet. For a shoot proof, you have to pre-approve all of your orders before they are sent off to the lab. Um, just something to note, and I really like that because I can check cropping on photos because people like to crop things kind of funny sometimes and like cut people off and. I don't think they're really paying attention is what it boils down to. Um, so it's a nice little tool to check that. And it's also a nice little tool if you want to like up their order in a way. So if you're trying to add like a nice touch, like an order, an extra print of something, you can do that. Um, or if you're trying to upgrade paper as like an extra touch, you can do that. Uh, things of that nature. And then we have here in the middle, uh, the recent gallery activity. So this shows like all your different galleries that you have and who's logged into them, who the little star, so I'll move my mouse. This little star is things that people have favorited. Uh, the cart are people, visitors that have items in their cart. Um, this is how many gallery visitors or emails that you have that have tried to log in or have logged in to the gallery. And then the little money, money thing is who was placed in order. Okay, and then you'll get these little like other things, this one here, um, and it will show like features, new features that Shootproof is kind of like pushing or that they just upgrade or something like that. You'll always find that here. And they'll also put up like really good like blogs um, and blog tips on how to use their software, which I've read tons of their blogs and it's all been really helpful. Um, and then you have your sales history and then you have your lab orders. Um, and you can see here like what's you know a waiting studio that means it's awaiting your approval and then you have how many have been sent to the lab and how many have been shipped okay so i'm going to go through the tabs really quickly with you um we have the studio tab so this is your contacts your email contracts colors logo all that stuff um i really i'll be quite honest i don't really use much on this tab like i know some people do so you have the email where you can actually send emails to people from two clients inside of Shootproof. Contracts, you can send contracts from Shootproof. I don't use the contract option. I use a different piece of software for that. Um, I think if Shootproof, if Shootproof adds in more of the, like the client relationship management pieces to their software, I will probably switch over completely to Shootproof. Um, it would be nice just to use one piece of software, but it doesn't do enough for me. Um, I like workflows and things like that um, that really make it easy for me to manage all my clients. Um, colors and logos, so you can pick what your your clients are seeing, like what your gallery. Well, here we'll go there. That way you can just see it. So I uploaded my logo here. 
and then you get to pick like the colors that they're seeing within their galleries. Um, so you can tailor that to match your brand colors. And I'll click on the shoot proof home homepage. And this is where you edit everything. So like this is your subdomain. This is where like your personal shoot proof um, website is. And then you get to change all the colors. You can add all this. I don't use my shoot proof homepage. Um, it's not something that I use. I send direct gallery links. So it's not something that I felt the need to um, update. Um, some people do though, they'll like link to this on their website and um, that way they'll get like a page with all the different client galleries and that way the client can just go in and pick theirs. But I send direct links and I do that for privacy reasons. Um, and then you can add all the other little tidbits about your studio over here. Um, and this is what it's talking about, like embed code, like you can embed that on your website so that people can like view their gallery on your website. Um, just something to keep in mind. It's a nice little feature and I've seen photographers who do do that. I might do something like that eventually. Um, it's not something I've gotten around to right now. Um, the last year has really been spent more smoothing out my processes in order to make things really smooth um, for not just me, but for my clients. So. This is probably one of the tabs that I use the most, um, and it's the Photos tab. And we're going to go over to Galleries. So Galleries, this shows all of your galleries, whether they're active, inactive, expired, anything that you've uploaded that you haven't either archived or deleted. Um, so these are all my active, not active, but all my galleries that haven't been inactivated, I haven't been deleted or archived that I have going right here. Um, and I like... So you can easily sort through them. I typically keep different ones active. So if someone like um, wants to see a sample gallery, I'll pass over, I'll send a direct email to that potential client of um, a past gallery. Um, so I'm gonna go into one of the galleries. So you're gonna go to actions and you can see a couple of things here. So you can go to gallery visitors and you can see who's actually like logged into the gallery. You can see what they favorited, what digitals they got, what's in their cart, how many orders they've placed. Um, and it will only collect emails though and names if you tell it to. It's part of the gallery settings. So keep that in mind. I'll show you where that's at. Hitting the back button. Okay. So we're going back to actions and um, I'm gonna, we're gonna go into the settings. So the individual gallery settings, and I do tons here. So um, this is the general tab. And I do, even though it's not set on this particular gallery, I do use the order date and expiration date a lot. Um, I don't, it's not on this particular gallery because for me in my wedding packages, engagement photos are included and they don't necessarily have to order by a certain date. Like it's pretty open-ended. Um, but with my families and boudoir and stuff, I do set a hard order date in order to move that client forward, if that makes sense in the process, like down the funnel. Um, and if you don't do that often, you know, they'll take a really long time to order. So setting an order date and an expiration date of when that gallery is no longer available really helps move that process along. Um, but when it comes to my wedding clients, like they're typically with me for a year, year and a half. Um, they get engagement photos, they get married a year later. Um, so they have ample amount of time to place an order or um, to have access to their engagement photos for whatever reason. Okay. So, but that's nice because that tells your client when like they need to order by and when their gallery is going to expire. And something to keep in mind is that you can tie email sequences to this expiration date. You can tie email sequences to this order due date, which I really like and is really helpful for pushing and helping with sales. Um, and then you can add a custom link. So I will typically at, like type in like their name. So this was a engagement for Luke and Emily. So I would do like Luke and Emily and it would be super personalized for them. Okay, now we're gonna go to layout. They have a couple different layouts that you can pick from and you just click through them and it'll show you how they change here. Um, and that's just the gallery like intro page that you choose from. 
Um, and then you can pick either cascade or subway view um, in terms of like the way your photos are shown within the gallery. And then you can do an intro message. I do include intro messages for some of my galleries. I do a video actually. I'll record a video just like this and walk family and boudoir clients through their galleries in order to help them make their purchases. So I'll explain where in the gallery they can find all the pricing. I'll explain where um, they can actually order the prints um, and show them how to favor images in order to help organize them. Th so this is really helpful. So anytime they have like a question, I can just be like, hey, just watch the video. Like most of the answers are there. Um, if it's not a question that I've covered in the video, then obviously I'll answer that. But most of the time, like I can include a video that, that stops all those questions like in their track be tracks before I ever get them, which is amazing because I really don't like playing the game of like back and forth, back and forth. Um, so the video is really nice because they open the gallery, the video pops up and it's, hey guys, just like I am here and it's attention grabbing and you just put in either the YouTube or Vimeo link and you're good to go. Um, so I highly suggest using that feature. It's one of my favorites. Um, and then you have the gallery, this, hold on, it's loading, it's taking its time. Oh, and no, it doesn't want me to, to go because I selected a video. All right, into gallery. So you have quite a few options here. You can pick your language. You can pick the color. Um, show file names. I don't show the file names. Um, you can add a playlist. Um, the playlist option is actually, it's an add-on for Shoot Proof, and it's like $40 a year or something like that, and you get access to all these different um all this different music and I do have that add-on um, and that you go customize like your family like I have a family playlist because I've chosen image it not images but music that will automatically play when they load their gallery I mean music is very tied to our emotions so um, if I can play something like soothing and upbeat um, it really adds that extra layer of like enchantment and like magic to getting their gallery images. Um, so I do have that option added on and it's really great. I love it. You can allow them to, sh you know, share it on social. I do allow this option pretty often, um, especially with like engagement since my engagement photos are included in my packages. Um, they do get, you know, their, Sorry, so my engagement and wedding packages are set up a little bit differently that they do get um, all their digital images with the engagement. So I'll like say, hey, share, you know, your images or whatever. You can allow black and white filtering and you can tell them where, like where do you want the gallery to link back to, either your shoot proof homepage or your actual website. I always link to my website. Okay, this is the important bit here. Uh, access and privacy and then the free digitals. So I always make galleries private and that's me. I know some photographers that make them public and that's a personal preference, but I do private. Um, I don't want anyone who's not supposed to have access to those photos to have access to them. I don't password protect, but I do require people to enter their email addresses. Um, and I do that for several reasons. One, again, is for privacy, so I can make sure that no one weird is looking at the gallery. Um, and number two, I can track who's going in the gallery and I can tie email sequences to those emails. So if they're having like mom's logging, mom, like, like, Mom of the Bride is logging into the gallery, I can send emails to Mom of the Bride and push sales forward. Um, so free digitals and all that stuff. So this is this is like the meat of it, like how you protect your images. And I know that's really important to most photographers. So you have quite a few options. Um, so for my engagement photos um, and my wedding photos, I do allow all of the digitals to be purchased. So in that, I don't be purchased to be included so they can download all of them. So I would leave the digital permission exactly as it is. I'd leave the download all button here and they'd get the original side, meaning the original size, meaning the high resolution image. But for families and boudoir where I'm pushing more product, um, I change it to the social size um, and I'll change this to social size. 
I remove that and I li and that's all I do. Sometimes I do specials like with like my mini sessions and they'll get like three digital images. So you can put that here. So you can change how many, how many digitals that they get. Um, and again, so this has a little asterisk here. That's three images per visitor. So obviously like mom logs in, she could log in three, right? Or dad could log in and he could get down three. So essentially they could get more. Um, they could work around that system. So a way around that, we're going to close this. You do a linked contact. You add a linked contact and let's say mom has been the main contact for you. So you add mom as a linked contact. You give her an access code, one, two, three, four. Okay, by six, because it wants six digits. Um, and then you add a specific per permission to that person. So, um, if you want mom at a mini session to only be able to have three and she's been the main contact, you would just do that like social size. You don't want to apply a watermark if you're giving away three. You don't want the download all button. You want to limit it to three images. So she can only download three, right? So you would save that permission and you would take away the general permission. So the only person that could download images is this person, Sharon Kern, like no one else could download pictures. It would be tied to her email address. So that is one way to get around that, um, not get around that, but enforce who is downloading and how many are getting downloaded. I know that's really, really important to people, so I have included that little tidbit here. Shopping cart is excellent, so you can attach your price sheet. Um, Use the shopping cart, show the buy all button, allow client to play, pay later. I don't do that. Allow pickup only. I don't do that. I ship directly to my clients. Um, and you can deliver a print release if you need to or want to. Um, I do have my print release in another part of the software and it automatically attaches it. Um, and you can allow cropping or not allow cropping. So that's that. And then you can send automated emails. So in another piece of the software, you can set up automated emails, which is what I've been talking about. So this really helps like boost sales. So all my general galleries get this sales sequence and it's tied to the expiration date of their gallery. And it's saying essentially they'll get like three emails, two weeks out before the expiration, one week out before the expiration and like two days before the expiration of their gallery, reminding them that they're going to lose access. And if they want prints, they need to place that order now. Um, so that's the main, we're going to hit save and we've now edited all those features, um, of the gallery settings, um, for, we're going to go to commerce, which is like where you set up all your orders and stuff like that, which is important. So the main part of commerce is this pricing and you can create different price lists. And I obviously have different price lists and you can also pick who you wanna um, do your ordering through. So we're gonna um, just really quickly make a price sheet. Um, so I typically use commonly sold items and then I add on custom items. Um, so we're gonna click on that and then you're gonna pick, you can pick who you wanna use. So like, let's just say you're not even using one of their labs, you want self-fulfilled. So you can go and put in your own pricing and go to a totally different printer, um, totally up to you. Um, so you pick your printer, hit next, and let's say we're just doing a sample. And here's your price sheet. And it so it obviously has like pre-written in amounts. You can totally change that. Um, so we're gonna go price sheet settings. Not, you can add taxes if you need to. Um, sorry, I'm looking for, they've changed the back end of this since the last time I updated all my prices. Um, Oh, this, this is what I was looking for, add the markup. So you can add markup like across the board. So you can do 100% markup. You can do rounding, apply markup. So let's say you wanna do a 200% markup. Apply markup. Yep. <laughs> so you can change that. You wanna mark it up, apply markup. You know what I mean? Like 
We're going to mark it up by 1,000. There you go. You just, across the board, you can do that. Or you can hit cancel, and you can edit these individually. And I'll tell you, tell you your profit margin. Um, so you can add additional lab items that aren't on the list. So you can go through here and pick all the weird sizes if those are things that you offer. Um, you can do fine art prints if that's something that your lab offers. Um, I don't believe MPIX does. Um, canvases, you can go in and add different kinds of different depths. And then metal prints, um, I believe you can go in and add different kinds for this too. But I don't use MPIX, so I'm not sure about all their options. They, this is only showing the options available for MPIX, um, not all the other ones. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, so we're going to get out of here. Um, you can you, you save this, and then you'll assign it to a gallery in order for this to pop up. Um, and then payments. This is where like all your payments come through. Just quickly flashing that, um, and you request all your funds. You can send invoices um, if you need to send invoices. I don't. Again, I don't use that. Um, reports. This shows all your gallery visitors. Sales, so, that, so you'll get like sales reports here, um, all your different orders, all your different order files. So there's a lot of different options here and a lot that I'm not even using. So just that, just wanted to show you that like kind of quick walkthrough. Um, but I think Shootproof is a great software. Um, and there's a lot, again, that I'm not even using that either I want to start using and haven't implemented yet or just that it doesn't quite offer enough for me at the moment. But for the price of it, like, I'm completely happy happy with it. Um, I'm only paying $10 a month. And they offer specials occasionally where you can get it for even cheaper. Their annual um, pricing is actually cheaper than their monthly price. So something to keep in mind if you're trying to save some dollars is to pay that annual fee right up front. And you can get a month or two, like, free um, in the long run. Um, so I highly suggest checking it out. If you have any questions regarding it, just feel free to leave a comment um, either on the video in my blog, send me a message on Instagram. You can find me at Morgan Tracy underscore. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. If there's any particular other products or software that you want me to run through with you, please let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right. Bye.